We believe China, the small business, the private sectors are the future. So we focus on that. And the B2B in the U.S. is focus on buyers. They want help the buyers to save the cost, to save the time. We believe don't teach the SME, don't teach the small business how to save the cost because they know much better than you do. You should help them how to make money. So we focus on helping small business. We focus on helping them to make money, to sell things abroad. Very difficult to do business at that time, but after 12 years, we got more than 58 million small business around the world using our services. That, that model is not very sexy. Compared to Tencent, Baidu, we did not make that much money like, like online gamings. But we can sleep well in the evening because the money we make, not online gamings. The money we make is helping small business to survive, to get business opportunities, which I feel very proud of that. And today, as always, I never feel proud of how much money we make. I feel proud how much impact we can help the others, especially small business. Before the history of Internet, no company can help over 50 million SMEs. Today, we are trying. And I feel proud of that. This is the first company. And people say, Jack, if you make Alibaba successful, that means you, you are pulling a million tons of ship on the top of the Himalaya. <laughs> and I say, yes, we will carry that thing down. And we did. The second company is called the Taobao. And everybody say, oh, my God, you're competing with eBay. I say, why not? China needs an e-commerce site. And building up the China market takes efforts, takes time, and takes great effort. You really want to build up something. So at that time, people say, there's no chance. Well, if you never try, you don't, how do you know there's no chance? So we tried. And I said, we, the, if, if eBay are the uh, sharks in the ocean, we are the crocodiles in the Yangtze River. <laughs> Never fight in the ocean, let's fight the Yangtze River. It was difficult. It's a lot of fun. And we survived. They got a 90% market share at that time. Today, for c 2 cp this one, we're like 90% market share. And lucky, just lucky. Um, there are a lot of things can be discussed in the future. Today, people always write about the successful stories about Alibaba. And I, and I really don't think we are so smart. We made so many mistakes. We were so stupid at that time. So I think someday the book I personally really want to write about, as I said, is Alibaba 1001 Mistakes. These are the things. <laughs> These are the things people should remember, people should learn. If you want to learn how the, people, the other people succeed, it's very difficult. There are a lot of lucky things out there. But if you want to learn, if you learn how people feel, you will benefit a lot. And I always like to read those books talking about how people feel. Because look, if you look into it, any company that feel, the reasons why they feel almost the same. And that really matters. So Taobao succeed, and then we have the Alipay, because everybody say China, oh, no credit system, banking is terrible, logistics terrible, and how can you do e-commerce? I never tell, to, just like today, I come here not without a PPT, without my business. I, I'm not coming here to sell your business, sell my business, because I don't have stocks to sell to you guys. But I think because China is not a good at logistics, not good at credit system, not good at a banking system, that's why we need the entrepreneurship. That's why we, go, we should go and build them up. So I believe if there's no, you build it up. Later, this becomes the standard of China. And I believe China needs that. I, I remember six years ago, I came to the States, I told the USA audience, say, I believe five years later, China will have more internet users than the USA. People say, no. I say, well, you have only 300 million population. 
China 1.3 billion, right? For you guys to have 400 million internet users without anybody dying, keep on having babies, you take 50 years. <laughs> we need five years. It's just the time issues, right? So let's wait and see. Today, we have more users. And today, people say, wow, your buying capability is low. Let's see about five years later. Five years later, today people buy, only spend 200 RMB per day, per month. Five years later, these guys will spend 2,000. And we have patience. We are young. You know, I'm old, but my people, only 26 average age. They are young. I mean, let's wait for the future. So <clears throat> Alipay was just like a very, that time people say it's a stupid escrow services, right? John wants to buy things from Stephen. John does not want to buy the money, and Steve does not want to give the money. challenges, guys. I never realized that. One of the uh, key government officers of uh, another country visited me and said, Jack, oh my God, you have uh, 300 million users on Taobao, and you know, you're, you, the population is much bigger than my country. <laughs> I said, yeah, it is difficult. Any policy we're making, we get into big trouble because people say this is pretty good. If some people complain, it's just like a government policy making. And those people who are making policies, their average age is 26. We have never met these kind of things. If we change, you know, like a search engine, the normal search engine, you pay, who pays better, who licks on the top? We believe we should put the trust record, the credibility record on that. And then we put that, a lot of people say we will demonstrate. 200 people last year came to our company, demonstrate, say, Jack, you changed the policy, you got to pay, you know. But I say, if it is right, let's do it. And this is the world we're changing. And now today, what we need is not pure programs, not service people and product manager. What we need is... So sociologist, e economist, and those guys who make the principle and the policies. So we are facing a lot of ch challenge, challenges, but we feel proud because I believe in the 21st century, if you want to be a successful company, you have to learn how to solve a problem of the society instead of catching one or two opportunities. It is so easy to catch opportunities, and it, I'm not bragging, I think today, after, after 12 years jumping around, I find that making money is very simple. But making sustainable money and responsible to the society, improve the world, meanwhile making a lot of money is very difficult. And this is what we are trying. And we think China, because of internet, is improving. And three years later, I'm preparing for that. Today, people say, ah, oh, China stock, internet stock going down, that because of the VIE, because of what and this. No. I think, look at the US economy. This is, they're facing big challenges. Europe probably go nowhere, <laughs> right? <laughs> China, anything that happens today in the US and Europe is going to happen in China three years later. China is going to face a big challenge in three, four years later. And if you know something bad is coming, get ready for it instead of screaming now, instead of complaining. And as internet companies, we have to take responsibility. And my job, I'm not a politician. I'm not speak for government. I'm speak for myself, for our own business, speak for my customers. 50 million SMEs and 8 million top of power sellers, how they should survive three years later. This is something I want to come here in the States, learn how Obama say, I'm going to create jobs, how he did that. Any mistake, we should learn from it, and three years later, let's solve in our way. This is why I'm here. So I think you all have a lot of questions, and I'm ready to answer any questions you have, because I don't know what, what to talk about later, because I'm just here, it's just a free talk, right? Thank you very much. Any question you have?
Got to say. Thanks. Well, Mr. Ma, you brought it up first, so I'm going to make you answer your own questions and be honest about it. Are you going to buy Yahoo? <laughs> Good question. Yes, we are very interested in that. We are very interested in Yahoo because our asset Alibaba Group is so important to Yahoo, and Yahoo assets also very very important to us, to the internet users and to the industries. So, yeah, we are interested in, and also all the P's and all the serious buyers. They already talked to us, and they 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 they, they should talk to us more. Have you made the initial approach to them Pardon? about? Have you made the initial approach to them about buying them? I just assure you that we are very interested in right now. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Jack. Uh, actually, I'm not going to ask that tough question. Uh, no. I, I was actually encouraged by Joe this morning, and uh, he said that uh, anything about uh, the uh, uh, Cena mode and. Uh, 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 I, VIE mode, uh, yeah. just ask Jack and he'll be the right person to answer all, answer all of these questions. And, uh, okay, seriously, uh, this is a question that I know that PRC government has adopted uh, the uh, um, um, national security uh, review system against the, the MNA merge and uh, acquire the uh, PRC company by the foreign, um, com by foreign companies. So um, my question is, how do you view the impact uh, of the uh, um, uh, scrutiny by the PRC government? And uh, specifically, do you think that's going to adversely impact for the uh, uh, PRC company go offshore IP? So my question is, would you like to share just one thing with us first? And you would do differently, uh, differently uh, you know, for something, one thing. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, thank you, Michelle. Right, Michelle Tan? Yes. Thank you. We, uh, we know lot, not see for 10 years. Um, yeah, we've gone through a lot of uh, tough days. If uh, today, when something is smooth, I just feel uncomfortable. <laughs> that's, that's true. Uh, in the US, it's called a very paranoid I am. Yeah. But uh, the mistake we made a lot for Yahoo China, I think when we acquired Yahoo China, if, if people ask me whether we would do it again, yes, I will. But whether we would do it in this way, no, I won't. We will do a much better, smart way because we had no any experience of acquisition, especially acquire an internet company. And we made a lot of mistakes then. And that helped us today. So when you ask me about whether I'm interested in Yahoo, yes, of course. I think we are probably one of the very few companies really understand Yahoo USA very well because of that. And people say, well, Yahoo China is terrible. How could you still talk about that? I mean, ch terrible running. No, it's not terrible running. We saw problems four years ago. So we cut Yahoo China. If we did not, we would have died today. So we would share these mistakes, how we acquire, how we treat the culture things, how we fight people. We should fight some people earlier. We should keep some people. You know, there's a lot of details.